Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Good one right there, boys. One more. One more. Let's go again. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I've been getting a lot of comments, questions, and stuff about my graphs. You know, what kind of graphs are you using? Why do you have that set up? Um, what's the best setup to use? What brand do you use? So I'm going to go over all that today. But, um, you know, any more questions that you have about these graphs, you can definitely leave them below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. And, um... Let's go ahead and get started. So the graphs that I have um, in my dash right here, um, right above the steering wheel, I have two HCS nines. Um, these are Gen threes. These are the newest ones. Um, I have HCS twelve up front, and you know my fishing partner that we usually always fish off my boat. Every once in a while we fish off of his boat, but the way that he has it set up, see this is just my personal preference on how I like it, which I'll go into more depth here in a second. But um, his actually have he has one twelve right here up in the front or in the dash he has 112 and in the front he has two nines so he kind of has it flopped from what i have it but the reason i like you know i have the two nines right here you know sam on kentucky lake pickwick i like that one of these with my sonar my down scan maybe even my side scan 3d um structure scan and one side i'm going to have my map on and when i'm driving you know i'm going to have this when when he has that 112 in there i mean it, it makes sense you know i could be scanning i'll have have my map on one side one side of the graph and the other side you know i'll set it up with sonar or the other structure scan but you know personally i just like it with two separate screens up front you know the only thing i'm going to be using i'm, I'm going to be using that map look at the contour lines going to look at where i'm fishing um i'm probably going to have sonar or a down scan up there as well but i usually just use split screen but i mean that's just how i have it set up and that's like my personal opinion you know people are going to have total different opinions on everything but what I really love is these two graphs right here. Two HES 9s right here. HES 12 in the front. That's my favorite setup. Um, but if you guys are wondering, if you guys are looking at graphs, you guys are looking at some very, very nice graphs, you're wondering what to buy, um, you're out there on the lake and you want to step up um, and actually get some graphs for the water, these little ANSI units, you know, they're really great. I'll actually leave their website link below. You can go check them out, check out some of their units. But like I said, these are the um, HES Gen 3s. And these two are the 9s. That's the 12. Um, really great graphs and not only you know is this going to help you you know find fish and open up to a big old variety um, on fishing you know have all these electronics to help you find the fish not only that but I, I've actually been to lakes recently and you know some of these lakes are going to have those shallow humps out there they're going to have all these dangerous areas that might not be marked Lake Lanier and Lake Hartwell right now are over 10 foot I mean low right now I mean all, all this bang behind me I mean this, this is usually all underwater um, so out there in the middle of the lake some of those humps that aren't marked they might not might not have a mark so this I mean just these graphs in general are gonna help me get around that and just be safe out in the water um, show me the shallow spots see I, honestly I don't feel safe driving on the lake without looking at my map that's just me personally but I, I like to know where I'm going where the river uh, where the channels at where the river channels at wherever you're fishing and just to stay in that safe zone but I hope you guys got a few tips out of this video. If you want to know some more about these graphs, leave a comment below. Any other questions, I'll try my best to answer them. But thank you guys so much for the support. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'll catch you guys at the next one.